Hello guys, going to windy day unfortunately. Uh, here's my uh, AGM Hobby QAV250 Nighthawk they call it even though it has a distance between motors 280 so that's why I can use the 6 uh, inch carbon props. Uh, the issue is that uh, yeah, I've been uh, in the medical leave unfortunately I had a small motorbike accident as you can see. And I had a lot of time to watch YouTube videos and uh, other really good guys in FPV flying. So I said, okay, I have this CC3D board that has some limitations. Unfortunately, the open pilot was, uh, was stopped in uh, 2015, maybe June, July or something. And you have open uh, uh, pilot uh, replacement let's say called Libre Pilot so the guys or most of the guys involved in this project moved to Libre Pilot okay I look at it it didn't seem very very much change compared to the open pilot anyway I said okay what can I find that can uh, make the PID auto tuning and then I found the Ronin I don't know if those guys has anything to do with open pilot or they are completely new but uh, I made uh, yesterday uh, just basically a small uh, auto tune uh, in my living room so don't do that it's it's a bit risky and basically now I came here on my my field uh, to the the edge of, of my my town as you can see here on the field to see if this thing actually flies so basically uh, doing auto tune it's quite simple you just uh, program a switch of your radio uh, I use the flight mode switch, uh, top position auto tune. You fly in stabilized mode, and then when you switch to auto tune, it starts doing the, the bouncy thing. Da, 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 da. And in less than one minute, it stops. You land, turn the battery off, uh, unplug it basically, connect it back to the, the D Ronin, and it will prompt you uh, to, to review the settings. And if you agree, it will save it and keep it like it is. So this is what I did, I kept it like it was, because I don't like messing with PID tuning, it lose too much time. Uh, let's see if this thing actually flies. Unfortunately, a lot of grass here that will damage the props a little bit. Okay, let's plant the battery. Let's turn on the radio first. Switch warning. Okay, all the switches Four minutes are and okay. Ten seconds, zero. Let's plug it in. As you can see, I have telemetry, it works. Let's arm and see if this thing actually flies. It's in stabilized mode on the first position of the switch, second one it's, uh, I think, rate, and the last one it's acro plus. As you can see, it's quite stable. I changed the rate of the yaw to 400 degrees per second. So it's a bit punchier. Let's switch to rate. Oi, oi, oi. It's, I think it's too much. <laughs> see, Acro Plus. I fly in line of sight, so without the goggles is not so easy. So now I have something like 500 degrees per second roll rate. So I'm uh, I'm afraid that just by visual it's a bit too much.
think it's quite stable and uh, the PID seem to be running well. I just have a little bit of drift, which I'm not sure what's the reason behind it. So. Okay, uh, thing is, uh, I really like to improve the performance of this quad. I have uh, motors which run well, AGM MT2204230 KV running on 3S, but I just ordered some Emax 2205 which I heard the really good reviews uh, from the guys on the internet and uh, I plan to switch on 4S LiPos so I will I will do this uh, I will switch to 3 blade props 5 inch and you guessed it uh, it's all on the way uh, to me so probably in like one week time two weeks maximum I'll do another video showing how this thing flies with the new motors, props and batteries until then take care, ciao ciao